Okay, you know that handle right there? At Jordan Vocational High School, Dan Parker takes great pride in preparing his students for the workforce. You know, society uh, as a whole, we're, we're really struggling for skilled trade uh, workers. I can give the kids a skill that will give them a job for life. And while he's a master at maneuvering the machinery, textbook instruction used to be a little bit tricky. Parker lost his vision seven years ago following a horrific race car accident. But thanks to a small mobile device, he can essentially read, even recognize faces on his own. You know, I can be in the shop and if a student has a problem or, or something, I can read with them one-on-one. -on -one. Or Cam My Eye attaches to glasses and with the point of a finger can read printed or digital text directly to the wearer. Without OrCam, Parker says... It'd be a struggle because you would have to rely on other people to do things for you. The OrCam My Eye gives you independence and confidence. Do shift tab one more time. From apps to wearable devices, new technology is allowing for instant access that wasn't there before, says Greg Akins, senior assistant technology instructor at the Center for the Visually Impaired. When everything was in print and hard copy, it was pretty difficult for someone who was blind or visually impaired to get access to it. it. Someone had to read it, or someone had to scan it, or had to enter it into, you know, into Braille. Now read from left to right. Inside the center's visibility shop, walls are lined with products from a prescription medicine reader Quantity. to desktop software and portable magnifiers that assist the low vision impaired to the blind. want to check a label or a price tag. Tierra Long helps clients find devices that make daily tasks like reading a menu or paying a bill online possible. A lot of the clients don't know what they can do. They don't know of all the great devices and the services that we have here at CVI. But something simple, a really modest device can really broaden up their horizons. The first time I ever read a piece of mail in five years and I cried because it was so impactful to me. Adam Palmer of Palmer Vision says wearable devices like OrCam not only provide independence, but give the visually impaired a chance to get back in the workforce. Despite the advancements, less than 30% of the visually impaired are employed. Saw the true impact of what it did for people's lives, including mine. So trying to give back to the visually impaired community as well as helping employ visually impaired people uh, and help them to gain, have gainful employment. And so that was my number one fear through all this, is trying to figure out how I could get back on my feet working. But with the help of audio-assisted devices, Parker not only is working, but still races, with the goal of becoming the fastest blind race car driver in the world. You know, I try to be an example for him that, you know, we're all going to have some obstacles or bumps in the road in life, but, you know, trying to be an example for them that, you know, they can get through it through determination. For CBS 46 News, I'm Gervier Denza. Thank you, Ross.